I pull out my dagger and try and stab the monster. That's really good. No, that's Maybe I should make Marcos more ridiculous when he's fighting. I keep saying so always me while fighting it because that's just how I am. I need to stop do that. Because yeah. Neve, I don't think she cares enough. She's just, yeah, she's really she's, apathetic. Yeah, she's totally apathetic. I feel like she's kind of like you. I can be apathetic when I want to be. I just, it's hard getting character when I have to speak it out loud. Mm -hmm. If it was text based, I could completely like, do it easily. Um, I had an idea where bowling balls could be used as weapons and because of ridiculous armor a lot of fictional characters are put in. And <laughs> originally she was meant to be just kind of like a funny character as all of, most of the characters started off as like funny characters before we made them less meme. So there was an asexual um, <laughs> priest in the temple and Smeef, she has high charisma and I joke that's because of her largely endowed. <laughs> um, we decided to try and get more money out of this priest, and I think another character had failed at doing it, and he actually had gotten less money because he had actually tried. And so, <laughs> the most in-character thing I've ever done was having my character Sneef walk up to this priest, push her chest out a bit, and say, "Hey, you want to give me some more money?" And then he rolled like I rolled a twenty. Yeah, you rolled a twenty. And let's just say it worked. He saw it was no longer sexual for a second. So yes, that was my best moment in character. <laughs> what was yours? Oh god, my... <laughs> okay, first combat. I think it was the first combat thing. No, 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 no. The second one. The first one I didn't even participate in because it was totally out of character for Marcos because he loves kids and, and like he just... Whatever. But the second combat thing that we had, Marcos, I feel like this was totally in character. I didn't really like connect with it at the time because I was like, no, I want to be cool like everyone else, but Marcos was not having it. I kept on rolling to try and do, I had these really cool cantrips um, called like Thunder Wave and like Firebolt. And so I used, I used Thunder Wave and there was like a huge flash of lightning and everything and like, but I rolled like, what did I, I rolled a five, I rolled a five. And so I completely missed. And every single time that I tried to do a different move, I missed. Cause I got like fives every single time. I think the, di the dice were weighted, so like it's not my fault, but also it's totally in character for Marcos. And I kept on, Marcos kept on falling and he kept on fainting and getting dizzy and he couldn't see for a little bit and he faint. Um, he Throw got, back to when he had to get carried. Yeah, because he carried Marcos. He carried Marcos out. And like also I kept on making a hole in the ground bigger and like more monsters, more silverfish kept on coming out. More monsters kept on coming out and I just kind of made the situation worse. Marcos is, he's trying his best, okay? He's good with people, he's just got not like good at combat. Don't forget no. how you rolled a 20 at looking at the chest. <laughs> the next, okay, the next time we got into like, so I, I, we got to the next room, there was a chest there that was supposed to be important, we got like a cloak out of it, but stupidly I decided to roll to open it or like to look at it. No, no, you I rolled to look at it. it. Yeah, I rolled to inspect it and I got a 13 and Ryan was like, that's definitely a chest. It's one heck of a chest. It's there, <laughs> but yeah, Marcos so, is, he's kind of stupid and mm -hmm. sometimes, and he's, he's really smart, but sometimes he just doesn't have any common sense mm -hmm. and he's bad at fighting. There's he, a lot of people like that who are smart, like the smartest people are the dumbest doing anything else. Yeah. I feel like if I'm gonna play as Marcos in the future, I'm gonna make him um, more like in during combat. But when I play Marcos in the future, I'm probably gonna make him bad at combat, obviously. But I want to have like him have a redeeming quality during it. Cause, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, he was brought up with like his whole like upbringing kind of groomed him to be like a perfect nobleman. So I feel like he has to have some sort of redeeming factor when it comes to fight. I guess he's good at magic when he can actually do it. He's very powerful. He's just bad at using his power, maybe. I take out my dagger and stab the monster in front of me. You got eight, queen. Sorry. Okay. What are you gonna do? I guess I don't hit it. 